All right, folks, welcome aboard. It's Monday. We're a day away from the New Hampshire primary, and we're a couple of days removed from the Republican debate, and one day after the Super Bowl, and we're going to talk about it all. I was glad to see Cam Newton on his back and on his face. And did you see Beyonce with her Black Panther salute? We'll get to all of that. New poll out, CNN poll out moments ago. New Hampshire, Trump 31, Rubio 17, Cruz 14, Kasich 10, and Jeb Bush 7. Sanders leads 61 to 35 over Hillary. We'll talk about it in the next segment. You could call me 877 Newsmax 877-639-7629. And Bill Crystal will join us shortly. I want to get to the Christy Rubio back and forth at the uh, debate on Saturday night. Um, Rubio kept repeating that, wait a minute, you know, Barack Obama knows exactly what he's doing. And by the way, he does. And Rubio was right. Should he have repeated it verbatim four times in a row? Probably not, but he went on to have a very strong debate. But Christie, Christie is the one really saying the same thing over and over and over and over again. And here's some of the exchange. Watch. When you're president of the United States, when you're governor of a state, the, the memorized 30-second speech where you talk about how great America is at the end of it doesn't solve one problem for one person. They expect you to plow the snow. They expect you to get the schools open. And when the worst natural disaster in your state's history hits you, they expect you to rebuild their state, which is what I've done. None of that stuff happens on the floor of the United States Senate. It's a fine job. I'm glad you ran for it. But it does not prepare you for president of the United States. Plow the snow? He went there? Plow the snow? We just had a snowstorm in Jersey a week ago, and Christie was criticized for not being there. Watch what Rubio said. Chris, your state got hit by a massive snowstorm two weeks ago. You didn't even want to go back. They had to shame you into going back. And then you stayed there for 36 hours, and then he left and came back to campaign. See, Those are the facts. Those are the facts. Listen to what a, a, a person in New Hampshire uh, said. Someone who has friends in New Jersey, a former resident of New Jersey, approached Christie a day after the snowstorm that hit New Jersey. He was in New Hampshire. Here's what uh, they asked Christie. Why are you here in New Hampshire campaigning instead of there helping, serving the, the damages done by the coastal floodings from the storm? Well, because it's already done. It's already done. Well, 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 tell me why you think it isn't. What I mean, would you, I have would, friends, family calling, sending me where? videos, pictures, yeah. all over the state. All over the flooding. state. All over the state, really? I don't know what you expect me to do. You want me to go down there with a mop? You want me to go down there with a mop? That's a governor who gets things done? And watch this. I'm the governor. I'm, you know, not the chief engineer. But I heard some people actually, you know, compare it to Sandy. I heard one crazy mayor down in South Jersey said, this is worse flooding than Sandy. Here's the one thing you need to know about that mayor. His town didn't get hit by Sandy. <laughs> so of course it's worse than Sandy for him. There was flooding. That town did get hit by Sandy. He had to apologize. And this is the same Chris Christie who two weeks after Sandy, where people died in his state, went on Saturday Night Live and said this. If I may conclude perhaps with a line from a famous New Jersey poet, Everything dies, baby. That's a fact. But everything that dies, one day comes back. Put your makeup on. Fix your hair up pretty. And meet me tonight in Atlantic City. All right, that's the buffoon that is Chris Christie. Okay? Joining us now is Bill Crystal, editor of the Weekly Standard, ABC News contributor. And you were there, Bill, at the debate. Uh, welcome aboard, sir. You a contributor to the Christie campaign? Yeah, too? right. Wow, Big that, contributor. That was an impressive montage. You, they should put that on the air. The Bush and Casey. Absolutely, people, they people. should. That was that was impressive. They I gotta say, you should. Have you thought about going into opposition research and <laughs> making ads for There's good money in that. You know I got I more on him. I got, him tell <laughs> <laughs> I got him telling me that the Ground Zero Mosque at the time, I have no opinion. I shouldn't have an opinion on that. Anyway, 